use these yet, but it's uh, still early in the winter, so hopefully I'll get a chance to use them later on. This other item uh, was purely uh, for fun. Um, I like to use these when I'm out with my, with my kids. It's a pair of Binatone Terrain 550 uh, two-way radios. They've got a, a very impressive range. They weren't uh, very dear, but they are extremely uh, uh, good little two-way radios. If anybody's interested, I'll, I will do a review on them. I'm doing some tests at the moment to see on to see uh, <clears throat> um, how far the signal will go in, in various um, situations, urban, uh, forest and things like that. But they're uh, great fun to use. Uh, next item is just a pack of, um, I suppose you could say, odds and sods. It's uh, another light stick. What just dropped on the floor is uh, a spare torch. This uh, contains a spare pair of glasses and also some uh, cash, which come in handy at the time. Of time. Um, some cable ties and more elastic bands and a very old uh, copy, cheap copy of um, a Swiss Army knife. It's extremely old but it um, comes in handy, which I have there. In this bag I have a pair of um, high gear gaiters. Very good to have, especially in the uh, in this in this weather. Keeps the bottom of your legs dry when you're walking in long grass. Also stops um, thorns and stinging nettles getting through and uh, tearing up your lower leg. So they're extremely good to have. This is a pack uh, contains a spare pair of boxer shorts and a spare pair of socks. I do like to change my socks while I'm out and about, and this small uh, container here has talcum powder in so after I've washed my feet, dried it, put a load of talcum powder on and put fresh socks on. Um, another one litre plastic water bowl, not a lot you can say about that. Next is my cook set and fire kit. The cooking pot and the lid both have uh, folding handles made from aluminium and the lid also doubles as a cup. The stove is simply a tuna can with a one inch by two inch uh, section cut out to allow air in and it sits, pot sits perfectly on top makes a very good seal, very stable. So with the opening uh, facing away from the wind, the fuel can burn unhindered. Very simple, cheap, and works really, really well. So I was quite pleased with that. For cooking fuel, uh, I use either solid fuel blocks, or I use these uh, tea candles, which I make myself. It's basically a standard tea candle. Um, the wax is taken out and melted. The wick is replaced inside the metal tray. You then use a uh, cotton wool to um, soak up the melted wax and then place it back inside the tray. Um, uh, so when you light it, as the wax melts and exposes all the tiny little uh, cotton fibres, the flame grows to basically the entire surface of the candle is a light and using these I can, I can boil a, a mug of water in about 15 minutes even um, when the temperature is below freezing and these will burn for about 20-25 minutes. I've only got the one at the moment but I usually carry about six of these so I've got some more to make. For fire lighting, I have multiple ways of starting a fire. I have uh, matches, big lighter, and of course everybody's favourite fire steel. 
Um, I can use these to set light to uh, tampons full of cotton. These are cotton, uh, cotton wool balls soaked in Vaseline. I have a, a regular tea candle. And this stuff is wood shavings from the bottom of my kid's uh, hamster cage. And this is, um, where are we? This is hand sanitizer gel, which has a very high alcohol content. So pour this over the wood shavings and it will ignite very easily with a spark from the fire still. And the last thing I have in my fire kit is this, um, just a sheet of aluminium uh, kitchen foil, which makes a good base to use if the, uh, if the ground is, is wet. Okay, staying with fire and cooking, next is my food bag. Um, to get in camera. In the lid I've got um, several uh, packs of coffee, uh, sugar and as the weather's rather cool at the moment I also have uh, these milk sachets. I don't really like white now that much. I prefer to use milk and as it's cool I can uh, carry these around. Uh, hand wipes courtesy of McDonald's. Uh, I have this cutlery set which I bought when I first started hiking but it's um, it's quite compact but I think I'll be changing this out for a plastic spork in the future. I've got two packs of chocolate flapjacks, uh, loads of energy, very filling. Small chocolate bar uh, Kendall Wink Cake, another, uh, another Marathon Bar, two packs of this uh, Mug Shop Noodle stacks, Snacks, and I have uh, three tins of uh, mackerel, which um, you can eat either cold or you can heat up in the can. Very nice. The next thing I have is my shelter kit and this contains a six foot by an eight foot camouflaged uh, tarpaulin. Inside here I've got um, a set of tent pegs and um, a bag of 550 paracord. This stuff I use uh, all the time. This is just a, a bundle of uh, spare paracord. It's wrapped around a, an old um, credit card size um, plastic card. Uh, there's about 42 feet of uh, cord in this little bundle here. And lastly, uh, as I mentioned before, there's a large pocket in the main compartment here of this bag. Just take this out. And in that compartment holds my waterproof, windproof um, over jacket and trousers. Uh, the wrists and the ankles are well elasticated and the jacket has a large drawstring hood so they uh, can keep, uh, keep me completely warm and dry and I've had to use these on a couple of occasions in really bad uh, thunderstorms and they're excellent to use. So that's what I take out with me um, when I'm hiking. Uh, this is geared up for bad weather and um, an overnight stay so if I'm only going out for the day and I'm confident that the weather is um, going to stay good I'll take um, certain things out just to lighten the load. So if you've uh, got any comments, suggestions or questions just um, post them to me and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks very much. Bye.